Hello everyone and in this video I am going to show you how to do a skin replacement for your mobile or TV or television or any kind of a screen to replace with other content. So our input will be this and our output will be this. Sir. So hello dosto my name is Hars and without wasting time let's get started. Just copy this input over here and this viewer also and here and connect it to our read node press one on this viewer so right now you can see that we have this green screen and if i play our video you can see it is not having so much motion right now so let's check this video first So as you can see that there is a simple motion but if you check in the R channel we have a lot of reflection in it. So if I try to track this tracker point or this tracker point it will be not easy to track these tracker points. And if, and if you check in the blue channel it's the same we got a reflection so much and if you check in the green channel you can see there is a less reflection and also the visibility of these markers are also very less. So what we can do is we have a tr planar tracker option in Nuke itself. You can also use the planar tracker in Mocha and export the tracking information over here in Nuke or you can use the planar tracker that comes with Nuke. It will come as a root node and in the properties tab you can see there is a in the root in the root folder you can see a planar tracker layer and whatever you create inside this planar tracker layer it is trackable. So let's see how to track. So in the first time you can see this marker is not visible. So for that what we can do is we can go to the end. So here the tablet is fully visible. So what we can do is we can just create a simple shape inside this planar tracker layer. So let's draw the shape. Turn the R channel to see the reflection. Here we don't got the reflection. So we will draw around the shape over here. We will take this thumb as it is not moving and it will also give us the tracking information here. Okay, so we got the shape over here and now what we can do is here is the properties of the tracking information. Uh, we have turned on the translation, scaling and rotation, shear and perspective. So right now let's take this as it is and track it backward with this option. It will track to start that means it will track backward till zero. So let's track this. So let's connect this rotor to our input and press one over here and now track it backward to start so it will take some time so i will resume the video when it's completed okay so guys our tracking is complete now and now you can see the our tracking is sticking to its surface also so now what we have to do is we have to transfer this uh, tracking information to our corner pin data so for that we have to define a one reference frame over here. So let's define the reference frame in this planar tracker. To define the reference frame we have the option over here. If you hover over this option it will open up the tooltip and it is saying set current frame to reference frame. So click on this. It will take some time to, re to set the reference frame. So now our reference frame is set. So in the case if this option is not enabled, just check whether your layer is selected over here or not. Always select your layer which you have tracked and then you have to create the reference frame over there. Now we have to transfer this uh, tracking information to a corner pin data. So for that click over here. So there are three options over here, corner pin 2D relative, absolute and stabilized. And here also but it is baked. So what is the difference between baked and the non-baked version? So non-baked version will be connected to this roto. So if I click on this, so see there is a connection between those roto and this. If I make any changes in this row to shape, it will automatically apply to this corner pin data. So usually it's better to export the relative baked data. So click on this corner pin 2D. And now you can see it is not linked with this roto. So let's delete this first. So we have the animation on this corner pin data. If you double click on this, you can see all the corners I have tracked. 
Now we have to import our footage, whatever we have to place over this screen. I have the footage over here. Copy this and paste it over here. This is the footage. So let's connect this corner pin be data to this footage. Connect this like this and take a merge. Click on this corner pin and press M. It will automatically connect the A pipeline to this corner pin data and connect this B pipeline to the footage and press 1 to view. Now here you can see our stock footage is not aligned to our tablet. So let's go to the reference frame first. Uh, now what we have to do is we have to take another corner pin and align it on the reference frame. So take a corner pin and let's disable this first. Now drag this over here. Now enable this again. Now you can see our stock footage is uh, aligned properly over it. So now what we have to do is, if we see through the merge, our stock footage is properly aligned with the screen. Our problem is on the edges and also the reflection is not visible. So it's looking like a fake one. So let's add our reflection over it first. Take a key light and connect it to our source like this. Disable this key light and select this color over here and enable it now. If you press A, you can see we have removed our green channel. These markers are still visible in it. I am not going to cover this marker over here. So let's tweak the value first, go into the screen mat and increase this clip black values. Also you can tweak the clip white also and give it a little bit blur. Turn on the RGB channel on by pressing A. And now if I merge this over our result, it will show up the reflection over it. Select this key light and press M and now connect this P pipe to merge. As you can see, we can see our reflection also here over here. So we have to remove these markers over here for the butt result. So let's copy this over here. So let's connect this over here. And also this key light over here. So now as you can see, these markers are also gone. And in the edges, we have this edge problem over here. So for that what we can do is, if we go to key light, we can dilate our footage. So now as you can see, our markers are also gone and the result is ready. As you can see, there's a, there's a little bend over here. So what we can do is, go to the frame, reference frame and adjust this corner pane like this. And now as you can see that this key light is affecting over all the area. So to restrict that, if you don't want this kind of result, then what you can do is you can take a merge node and draw a rough shape around this tablet. Or what you can do is just you can take this animated roto and connect it over here. And change this operation from over to merge mask. Now the problem is solved. If you disable this, you can see it's affecting all over the area. And now it's affecting over here only. So now uh, the only part is left is to match the grade. So let's take a grade node over here and bump up these values. Take another grid and match the dark values in it. Click on this black point. Press one on this grid. Click on this darker area to set it the black point. Now go to the footage. Click on this lift. Click the darker area. Now if you see through our merge, disable this option. So now as you can see, our black points are also matching with this. You can make it a little more darker in it. So now as you can see that we have the reflection over here. And it's blending properly. So that's it for this script today. So I will see you next Sunday.